to show you is how to stretch his psoas, his uh, iliopsoas, uh, some of the glutes and piriformis in here because he's very tight in his hips. And we think that's why, partially why he's sitting when he's sprinting. So, go ahead and lie back. Um, what I do is pull him all the way to the edge of the table here and have him hold the, the knee as I push against, and that just stabilizes the pelvis. Then what I do is just lean down on the knee here. His hip flexion stops about right there. He's getting better. But what I want to do is push this as far down to you feel of resistance um, until he starts crying. Uh, then you have him push. You basically stretch that for 10 to 30 seconds and then gently push up with this. About 20% of his strength for about 10 seconds. So push, 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 push. Then relax. Take a deep breath and let it out, and then you go into a deeper stretch. And you can do that two or three times to where you get a really good stretch, and then you just switch legs and do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, go ahead and push you. Perfect. So next, I'll show you this side. Next, uh, I want him to uh, loosen up the glutes, so you can have him, go ahead and grab the knee, you can have him just pull like this, and then you can help by pushing down this way. Same concept of the what I did down here, the post-isometric relaxation stretching. Some people call it uh, proprioceptive uh, facilitation. Basically, you push down and you have him push against me. So push, 20% of your strength. Push, 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 push. Then you relax and go to a deeper barrier like this. So I want that increased. In addition, go ahead and let go. In addition, rotating this way so you bring the knee and the foot toward this opposite shoulder there and get a really deep stretch in there. You don't really do uh, the pushing on this one, but you just help him stretch just like that. Uh, there's one additional stretch that would be good for him. Go ahead and lie on your side uh, facing that way and scoot back toward me. Scoot back just like this. Um, and this leg stays straight and kick it back. He's going to have to yeah, hold on to the table like that, where you basically stabilize the pelvis here. So I generally hold like that and just crank down just like that and feel that right through here. And you can put, if you want to do a little elbow work, kind of loosen up the muscles as you do this, kind of push down. You have somebody stabilize the pelvis while this person pushes on the muscle and stretches it down like that. It's a great way to loosen up the hip.